Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right, so now let's go through and create a web sized export preset. So I'm going to select a different image just so we have something else to look at. And uh, I'm going to hit Control Shift E or Command Shift E on a Mac. We're going to get into our export dialog box, and once again, under the LR4 A to Z folder, I'm going to create a new action, or uh, sorry, a new preset. But we'll do it after we dial in all the preset settings. That way, we don't need to update it. So let's go over and create our settings. We want to export to the hard drive. The location is going to be this time the same location, except I want to put it now in 02 web sized. I don't want it to add to the catalog. I don't want it to do anything automatically with existing files. I want it to ask someone to do, so I'm going to leave those defaulted. We're going to go down to file naming. Again, I don't need file naming or anything like that because we already should have done that in our workflow. With video, that's not applicable. We're going to go to file settings now. So with file settings, what I'm going to do is actually reduce the quality. I found that a good number for, for like website stuff is typically between 70 to 80%. And so we'll save this like 75%. You could also do the limit file size choice, but sometimes there's files that are like, you know, say you're working on a file that has a lot of detail. Maybe it's a high dynamic range file, or maybe it just has a, a huge landscape with tons of different detail. Those files are going to be pretty large. And so if you limit it to a file size of 20, uh, 200K or, or, you know, whatever amount, the ending quality on that could be like 40% to get it to that file size. So rather than doing that, I like to set the quality to 75%, uh, which is a good number, and it'll get it pretty small overall, and then just let those bigger files be slightly bigger. But if you need to absolutely control the file size, then this is a great way to do that. All right, next we're going to go to image sizing. This time I do want it to resize. So what I want to do is on the long edge, which is just the longest edge of the image, and we're just gonna, you can select different basically restrictions. So we're gonna say on the long edge, I want it to be 800 pixels. So regardless of if it's a uh, landscape image or if it's a portrait image, it's gonna pick the longest edge and say, this edge cannot be any more than 800 pixels, and it's gonna keep the rest of the aspect ratio intact. So it's not gonna change any ratios or anything like that. All right, I don't want it to enlarge, so in the likelihood that any image is smaller, I don't want it to enlarge anything, but if we're doing images from a camera, there's no way it'd be smaller than that anyway. So I'll just click it just in case. Next thing, I want my resolution to be 72 pixels per inch because this is web-sized and it's only for view on a screen and a screen can only see up to 72 pixels per inch. So any more than that is overkill and you're just wasting space. Let's go on to output sharpening. And I'm gonna say sharpen for screen. And I'm gonna put the amount as standard. We're going to go on next to metadata. Once again, I want copyright only. I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Uh, location info is up to you. I'm going to leave it off. We're going to watermarking. And now with the watermark, I'm going to select the SR Lounge stamp that we created back in the customizing Lightroom section. So if you guys have any questions on how to create that, go reference that section. All right, let's close that up. Post-processing, once again, I want it to show and explore. And that's it. I'm good. I've created the setting. Now I just need to save it. So with all this dialed in correctly, I'm just gonna to go to add, and now we're gonna save it under that folder as LR4 web sized. Hit create, and we're gonna try it out. Let's export it. It's gonna bring up the explorer window, or if you're on Mac, the finder window right afterwards. And let's double click, and we have our SR Lounge stamp at the bottom. It's correctly sized. It's nicely sharpened and everything, and it's ready to go. And let's check out the overall file size. So here we have a file size of 135K, which is really pretty small, uh, compared to our print size image, which is 4.65 megabytes. All right, guys, so hopefully that makes sense. You guys have your print sized and web sized presets set up, and let's go on to the next tutorial.